Hey Instagram fam, so this week we'll be talking about the rise of the chatbot, why it matters and how it affects SEO. So first let me ask you, are you thinking of adding a chatbot to your website? Or are you curious why they're becoming more common today? Or are you sitting there saying, what the hell is a chatbot? If you are, then your brand might be fucked and here's why. So AI or artificial intelligence is taking over the modern web. Most businesses are looking for new opportunities to attract and engage with their customers, but not everyone has the time to be present and do it themselves. This is where the chatbots come into play. Your website is probably the hub of your marketing and the one place you typically direct followers or potential customers to visit to learn more about your business, right? So ask yourself, what if you could make a visitor's first experience with your brand more engaging and memorable? Chatbots help assist in acquiring new clients. So rather than a visitor landing on your site and being forced to navigate it on their own, chatbots can help visitors handle some simple tasks. Chatbots are kind of similar to the host at a restaurant or a hotel. They're there to determine what your immediate needs or concerns are and how to help get those resolved. So sometimes chatbots will help answer these questions directly or they may forward the conversation to a live real person agent to discuss in further detail. It'll show up just like a chat feature on your website and it's great at answering questions like, what services do you offer? Where are you located? How did you hear about us? How much does it cost? What are your hours of operation? Or even something less specific like, how can we help you today? So the goal when using chatbots is to make the bot experience as lifelike as possible. Some chatbots allow you to add an enormous amount of detail and intelligence into fielding certain questions to the point you may not even know where the AI experience ends and the human to human interaction begins. For example, a question like, how can we help you today? Based on your answer to this question, a chatbot may be able to provide you a list of useful links, might connect you with, a, with the user with a, a live agent or provide a response directly if it applies to the visitor's response. Now that the basic concept of a chatbot is understood, how could a chatbot influence SEO? Well, in simple terms, Google takes customer satisfaction very seriously. The more easily a website visitor can find information and the longer that visitor remains on your website will both positively impact your rankings and search. So the first concept is what's called dwell time which is defined as the amount of time a user spends on a web page after uh, arriving from a search engine results page or a SERP page for short. The longer the dwell time, the more likely it is a user is pleased with what they found. So chatbots naturally extend dwell time because they quickly get visitors engaged and to the content they need most. And in most cases, they do it quicker than if they were to search on their own. So second, Chatbots influence SEO because they can play into a customer's perception of your business and your business's reputation. So for example, service-oriented businesses can't rely exclusively on their products to keep customers happy. Chatbots can prompt visitors and customers for feedback and even improve their experience of navigating your website, which can influence how visitors view your business as a whole and what feedback they share about it. So now that you have a little more understanding of chatbots, just know they're not for everyone or every business type. As much as they might help one business, they could hurt the user experience for another. So before using one, think about how customers use your website and whether they could benefit from some help along the way. Also think about the demographics of your users. Uh, chatbot users tend to be younger. So if your website caters to aging adults, a live chat agent or no chat feature might be a better option. Like every marketing technique and strategy we implement, I always recommend that you keep a close eye on your website traffic, the engagement, and other metrics that matter to you so that you can determine if a chatbot is helping or hurting the visitor's experience. So make sure to track the metrics before <laughs> installing the chatbot and then afterward so you can get a true idea of how it's working for your business. So make sure to head over to our blog tomorrow to check out our latest blog all about the rise of the chatbot, why this tool matters, and how it affects SEO. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or need help, let me know. I'll chat with everyone soon.